So in the interest of time, I walked from Ashner Bibi to Nyarmok, where I was going to take the ship somewhere so that I could get back to Aldrun, but then I realized that I can take this to Nyarmok, and I need to get to Nyarmok to get back the Limeware Bowl for the Imperial Cult. So let's just do that. It's just gonna be... Well, it's just so that I can kind of... Uh, get everywhere that I need to go. I don't necessarily need to do everything in an exact order, so I'm okay with coming here and just trying to find... Oh, here we go. Karyaro's shack. The problem is, is that people are going to see me, aren't they? Right, I need to put a lockpick on. Uh, Engineerman's probe, Prentice's probe. Do I not have a lockpick at all? Wait, I do. I have a lockpick. Okay. I have two uses for it. So, well, wish me luck. Yep. Crime's been reported. Oh, no. Oh, guard, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm fine. Oh, God, I'll pay the gold. Oh, I'll pay the gold. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen, he stole something, okay? All right? I'm not a crazy person, I swear. I'm just switching back to my weapon because I finally used hotkeys. Is Karyarl in there? Is he... Uh oh oh, okay. I saw him freak out and run after someone. I didn't know where he was going. He was killing that cliff racer. Has anyone seen Karyarl? I don't know where he is. All I know is that he's a high elf. Wait, is this him? Nope, that's not him. Hey, you. Tell me about Karyarl. Can I ask you about him? Yeah, I can. The high elf, he lives in a shack over by the docks. Yeah, that's great. It doesn't help me when there's guards everywhere. Is that... No, that looks like it's a dark elf. Well, I can't really tell from here. Is that... Nope, that's him! Aha! Yes, I was treated for swamp fever at the Imperial Chapels in Ebonheart, but I don't know anything about a chapel limeware bull. So go away and leave me alone. I don't believe him. Journal's been updated. Uh, he said he didn't know anything about a chapel limeware bull. He told me to go away and leave him alone. I don't believe him. Which means I probably need to break into his house. I can't persuade him at all. Because if you speak to someone and it says goodbye, then that's it. It's, there's nothing else you can do. Problem is, I'm not very stealthy. Wait! Wait! I can be stealthy, though. I have the Amulet of Shadows. So if I equip the Amulet of Shadows... See, that's what I should have done in the first place. Now I only have one use left on my lockpick, so I'm not going to get in. So let's just cast that. Yeah, I'm all invisible. Look at me. Well, I'm 80% invisible. You can still see me, so... I'm not that invisible. Uses, one. I'm going to blow this. Just watch. And failed. Wait, do I still have a scroll of unlocking? I do. Okay, 40 to 60 on touch. So let's take that. Oh, wait, no, that's not how you do it. That's I keep on forgetting how to use these. Scroll of Unduce's unhinging. And now... Just... Oh, wait, I was putting my hands away. Spell is unlocked as target. Good, good. Alright, we made it. Now to find the limeware bowl. If I was the limeware bowl, where would I be? Oh, in the chest. Wicker basket? No, but I'll take his two gold while I'm at it. It's just gonna be sitting out somewhere. Like, very obviously. Just watch. I don't see it, no. He has to have it. I didn't break in here for nothing, come on. I did not break in here to go back empty-handed. There's gotta be something here. Oh, wait. Chapel Limeware Bull. Worth a thousand. There we go. 
Alright, and now... So I have to get back to Ebenhart. And... I'm trying to think. So I have to get to Ebenhart to return this. I have to go to Aldrune to... Okay, so I'm trying to think. Well, let's see where this boat will take me, because that'll kind of determine the, what I'm going to do next. Who I'm going to turn in a quest to I could first. kill that Gwar. Those boots are Well, ruined. stop standing on top of Gwar and letting them piss on you. Everyone keeps complaining about the Gwar pissing on you, but no. I think you guys are just bad at your jobs. So I can go back to Hlaod, I can go to Cool. I can go to the Bitter Coast, and I can go to Kogamar. Kagamar. Uh, so I guess back to Hlaod, so I'm going in a little bit of a circle. Is there something I can do for Alright, now let me talk to you. Wait, one second. I already used the scroll, so that's... I don't have anything slotted in my magical slot, so I'm just gonna put... Emily the Shadows on. Hello. So let's talk to you about traveling, and I can go to... Sedanin, Nyarmak, Tain, and Ranim. You don't make this easy for me. You're not making getting around everywhere easy for me. So I guess I'll go to Sedanine, and then from Sedanine I can take a Silt Strider. Um, the Silt Strider, knowing my luck, isn't even gonna go all the way to um to what's it called? Isn't gonna go to Aldrun. But I believe. That the Silk Strider will at least take me to Vivek, and from Vivek I can get to Ebonheart, and then I can turn in the Chapel Limeware Bowl. I would imagine that the Imperial Cult is gonna pay me, right? Like, pay me like a normal wage? Keep the torch out of the water? Okay, good, it was shallow water. I didn't want my torch to explode in my face. Because that's what happened the other time I went into the water with the torch, is that it just exploded in my face, and it was the loudest thing ever, and it was kind of unnecessarily loud. Hi there! So let's travel. We're gonna go to Vivek. Beautiful. Oh wow, that Silt Strider goes all the way to... Where would you like to go? I wouldn't have expected that. Because that's really far away. Now if I go to one of the boatmasters here, the shipmasters here, they'll take me to... Ebonheart. It's just the fast travel episode, and by fast travel I mean... Travel episode. Because there is no fast travel in Morrowind, unless you count using uh, Silk Striders and boats as fast travel. But when I say fast travel, I think, you know, along the lines of like, oh, I just go to my map, I click somewhere, and it's like, hey, you want to fast travel there? I'm like, yeah, I do. So that, that's what I consider fast travel. But I guess this is also fast travel because I'm getting there fast. I know, riveting stuff. So let's travel. Oh, damn it, he only takes me to Ebonheart. Not Ebonheart, uh, only takes me to Vivek. I thought I could take one of these two... I don't know why, I thought I could take these to Ebonheart. Ebonheart is not... Uh, a dialogue option. I don't want to walk all the way to Ebonheart. That's just unnecessary. It's very long, I've done it before. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Athletics increased, okay. Here's the thing, there's a thousand other of these boat guys. One of them can take me there, I'm sure. Let me go find someone that'll take me. Okay, I just went the wrong way for the boat. The boat that takes you to Ebonheart is out here by the entrance to Vivek, not in Vivek itself, because the Boats in Vivek are just ones that take you around the city, which makes sense. And I've used this one before, so that's my own uh, bad. That's my bad for just forgetting it. So let's just chat with her. Go back to Ebonheart. And by her, I mean him. I'm sorry, sir. I thought you were a woman. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. And on to Ebonheart. I think Andethren is... I think Endithrin is, um, one of the locations on mainland Morrowind, so from the, uh, the mod that I have installed. Could be wrong, but I just, I think that's what it is. Alright, here we are, beautiful. So now I need to just head all the way into 
with the Imperial Cult, which is through the fort and everything. Hello there. With an outfit like that, you must be doing very well for yourself. Can I help you? No, I just wanted to admire your armor real fast. And I do need to sell some stuff because I am close to being over-encumbered. I have a few things that I should probably do just to kind of take care of everything. So I have to get to the, uh, the castle, the castle Ebenhart. Because the, the chapel is all the way through there, I remember. I remember because I got lost the first time. Just not knowing where the hell I was supposed to go. Back in the days when there were no quest markers or anything. Back in the days where you had to figure out everything by yourself. I'm doing a pretty good job, I think. I like to think, at least. Uh, one thing I want to do since... Well, I've been fighting a lot. Is I am going to start repairing my armor and everything. Because I also can get my armorer skill up to hopefully level up. Oh, wow, that went really well. And then I failed it as soon as I said that. All right, thank you, game. Come on. There you go. Okay. See, a lot of these things need to be repaired because they're pretty close to being broken. All right, not bad. Oh, whoever's there, go away, please. I don't want any. Whatever you're selling, I don't want it. Alright, almost fully repaired. Goody goody. Still katana, let's just fix that a little bit, even though I don't really need to too much. And the tower shield, we definitely need to repair that. So I'll just use this up. And... Do I want to try using the repair hammer? Yeah, I'll use the repair hammer, why not? Let's just take... Oh, let's just take both. Now scroll on down to my shield. Good, good. Let's just finish fixing the katana. Or, you know, that's as close as we need to do it. Alright. Goody, goody. And my armor skill is 90 out of 100, so that's close to leveling up. That's pretty good. And I can probably sell some things in here, because I know there's some... Uh, some tradesmen. Or at least I thought there were. I could be wrong. So what's this about? Okay, that's the one I need to talk to. Uh, yes, I have the bull right here, because he just asked me, Where's the chapel limeware bull? So you found Kayaro, and you recovered the bull. Well done! Here, let me give you something to cover your expenses. And here's... Here are a few divine intervention scrolls. I never go anywhere without them, and when you're... Ready for another shri Shrine Sergeant mission, speak to me again. 200 gold, 3 school of Divine Intervention, and the Chapel of Limeware Bull has been removed. A reminder, check with me from time to time concerning your advancement in the Imperial Cult. As you labor for the night, you will rise in rank according to our efforts. Fine, I'll ask you about advancement. Congratulations, George, you've been promoted to novice. I don't know why he keeps on dismissing me from his dialogue menu. A Bosman named... Nedelis in Caldera says his house is haunted by a ghost. You'll need an enchanted weapon or suitable spells because only spells, enchanted weapons, or refined weapons like silver daggers can harm a ghost. I don't know what you prefer, so take these 200 drakes, but buy something that suits you and use the rest for expenses. Uh, talk to Nedelis first and report back to me if you get rid, if you get rid his haunted house of its ghost. If you get rid, okay. Over in Caldera. Have I... No, I've, I've been to Caldera. I haven't been to Caldera in a long time. Alright, well, let me barter with you. See if there's anything I can sell to you. Oh, he has some weapons. Probably not anything good. Well, definitely not anything good. Because I've asked him before what he had. Can I sell him... I can sell him the ruby. I can sell him... This emerald. Uh, fire salts... And raw ebony, because I don't believe I need the raw ebony. Or the Daedra Heart. He has 500 gold. Okay, and that gets me down to 277 out of 300 gold. So let's just try to negotiate this up a little bit. 
Beautiful. And there's other people I can buy from, I'm sure. Ooh, spell making. Well, let me just barter with you for now. Oh, never mind. I, I have to be a higher rank with her. Great, thank you. How about you? Can I barter with you? I can, thank God. Does he have potions that I want? Because I'm going to need some standard restore health. He has cheap restore health, which really doesn't do much, but I'll take them. Uh, bargain restore magicka, bargain restore luck, intelligence, bargain restore health. Value 5. So, value 5. That means it's going to be even worse than... Um... Than cheap, doesn't it? Yeah, because cheap is... F well, I don't know, because it says bargain, so... It's hard to say. I'm going to take both anyway. Let's see if I can find any... I don't think he has any standard, no. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Can I sell him anything? Eh, whatever. Let's just do that. How about you, ma'am? Do you sell anything? Oh, you're a trainer. What is she trained to? Hand-to-hand, -hand, sneak, and acrobatics. I'm fine. I'll pass. I don't believe I've ever seen a dog elf with such a grand outfit in some time. Can I help you? What are you trying to say about dark elves, hmm? Please. By all means, I'm listening. I'm just looking at these banners. I don't know whose banner would be Spilled Wine. Who would be the god of Spilled Wine? For my gods and emperor. The annotated... I'm ready for Anuad. anything. Go ahead. I'm just looking at the books. In case there were any... Books that would increase my skills or anything. It doesn't look like it, though. We got this guy in the corner, just hanging out. It's Barter. Anything that I want... Wooden Staff of Peace, Iron Shard Mauler, ooh, Iron Sharp Blade. Amulet of Opening, that seems... Oh, it's only 20 points, though. Still, that is pretty good. He doesn't have any gold, so I can't sell him anything. Let me take a look at his enchanting. What if I enchanted my... Curious. I have no... Oh, I have no soul gems. I can get restore... Health... On self. Oh, wow. That gets really pricey. That gets very, very pricey. Never mind. Well, let's just... Let's cancel that. Ah, greetings. What shall we? It doesn't matter because I don't have any soul <laughs> gems that I can use in the first place. All right, so let's head back inside because I have what can to. What I do for you, friend? And then let's head back outside. And now I have to get back to Aldrum, which means taking the boat back to Vivek and then hopping on the Silt Strider there. Hopefully it can take me to Aldrun, but if it can't, what then I have you to out this mess? just kind of like fast travel hop some more. I'm probably not going to use the uh, Ring of Healing anymore because I've been told that the Ring of Healing is just kind of crap. What brings you out in this mess? And that the more I level up and the more that I advance, it's just more and more crap and really just unnecessary for me to use. So I'm just not going to be using it too much anymore at the behest of some of the viewers who have yelled at me and be like, don't use it anymore. I'm like, okay, all right, you got it. It was just, I have a, I have an emotional attachment to my, to my enchanted ring of healing because, or my engraved ring of healing because it, it's one of the first items that I ever stole. It's important to me, Such what can I say? Good company. Well done. All right, so I need to get back to Vivek, take the Silt Strider from there, and then we'll be good to go. Hey there, Navosi. Let's travel to... Vivek. Alright. Now up to the Silt Strider. I know, like I said, it's it's real interesting. We're just fast travel hopping all over the place. Because you have to. They don't make it easy. You have to know... 
You have to know the travel routes, essentially, and I don't have the travel routes memorized because... That's a very specific thing to memorize, what can I say? Of all the things in my life that I choose to memorize, the, uh, the fast travel routes from Morrowind are not one of them. So I can go to Balmora, Molag, Marsaran, and Sedanine. So I guess I'm going to Balmora and then from there, hip-hopping over to Aldrun. So I'm just going to cut to when I'm at the Buckmoth Legion Fort because that's just going to be a lot of walking, honestly. Alright, made it to Buckmoth Imperial Legion Fort, and while I'm here, I will some I will buy some stuff, I will sell some stuff. Please, by all means, I'm listening. I hear you, I know you're listening. Let's see if she has anything I want. Iron Saber, Iron Mace, Iron Halberd, I'm pretty sure she doesn't have anything I want, because I'm pretty sure I've had this conversation with her before. But it always helps to look anyway, so... We can sell her. Why am I not wearing my, um... Oh, I know why I'm not wearing my silver cures, because I took it off when I went to get it uh, enchanted, or thought about getting it enchanted. So let's sell you the the Nordic Battle Axe. I'm going to hold on to the Orgish Battle Axe, because it's not bad. It's two-handed, but it's 17 to 28, 2 to 23, and 0 to 2. The 0 to 2 is not the great part, but the 28, because I don't have anything that does 28 damage yet. So I'm just going to hold on to that for now. I want a better one-handed weapon. I just don't know where I'm going to find one yet. I know I have to hold on to Divine Metaphysics and the um, the Dwemer airship plane, so don't worry about that. I'm aware. I am well aware, guys. So that begs the question of what else do I want to sell? If anything. Does she have any potions that I want? Spoiled cure common disease. Why is it spoiled? How does a potion go bad? I'm not drinking a spoiled potion. No, thank you. So I guess that's everything I'll take from you. Let me try to raise the price on this a little bit. Offers refused. Fine. 33. That's as low as I'll go. 32 is as low as I'll go. Oh, fine. 31. That's my final offer. God damn it. I didn't want to do this, lady, but 30 it is. All right. All right. Oh, wait. She wants to talk to me about becoming a lay servant? Uh... It is not possible to become a priest or consecrated cleric without joining cult orders. You would be forced to devote yourself full-time to the Imperial cult. I am... I'm not a lay healer, but, um... I'm a, lay, I'm a shrine sergeant. So I'm already way ahead of you, man. Ma'am, not man. Sorry. Do you have any potions that I want, sir? Knowing my luck, probably not. Cheap restore door speed. Restore personality. Cure paralyzation. Common disease, restore magicka, restore luck, cure blight disease. I feel like I should probably have one of these, because knowing my luck, I'm going to get the blight later, sooner or later. Cheap restore health, I might as well, just because I'm going to need more health potions over time. And I guess that's going to be it for now. He only has 200 gold, so I can't sell him the mortar and pestle that I've been lugging around. Waiting for a very, very fine merchant with a lot of money to take it off my hands. So, I guess that's all that I can really sell to him. Let me try to negotiate that down a little. Office refused. Fine. 71. There we go. Saved one gold. It's a miracle, isn't it? So now let's turn this into... Imsin the Dreamer. Oh, okay, I got it right. I wasn't sure if her name was Imsin or Ismin, but it's Imsin. I got it right. You're out of uniform. I Yeah, I know. I need to put my armor back on. I'm sorry. Are you here to report on Johnsis Dalamax? I am. I'm glad to hear that Johnsis is safe. You have my gratitude, George. You better have a lot of gratitude because it wasn't exactly easy now. Got my ass handed to me a thousand times in a row. Training. What do you have? Blunt weapon, axe, and long blade. I don't need to try- oh god, those are expensive because my skill's already so high. Alright, do you have, uh, new orders for me? I need you to bring me a Maiden's Token. The outcast Telvani Verona Nellas is blackmailing a buoyant armager. Verona Nellas 
has an embroidered glove which was given to this boy in armature as a token of affection. It would cause a scandal if it were known that they were lovers. Go to Asumanu, which is southeast of Aldredania, and recover the glove at all costs. Aldredania? Aldredania is the site of an ancient ruined wizard's tower on the western tip of a large island west of Shiagorad. Okay. Can I ask about Shiagorad? I cannot. Ooh, requirements. Uh, the Legion selects for endurance, the soldierly virtue and personality. I mean, I can also just read the actual requirements. So let's see. Uh, Imperial Cult. I just want to look, see what I have. Need one skill at 20 and need two skills at 8. Speechcraft, Unarmored, Restoration, Mysticism, Conjuration, Enchant, Blunt Weapon. Okay, so... Not really any of the weapons that I have. I do need to switch to Medium Armor at some point. I need to focus on Mercantile, Restoration... I just need to focus on my minor skills at some point. Uh, blades, Favorite Skills, Speechcraft, Marksman, Light Armor, Sneak, Restoration, and Long Blade. Need one skill at 30 and need two skills at 20, so I think I can just about level up. Yeah, okay, I can level up with the blades. Wait, intelligence 40, personality 30. Intelligence is 41, personality is 66. Yeah, I'm safe to level up with them. Imperial Legion, Le need one skill at 50 and need two skills at 15. One skill at 50... I have that. Two skills at 15. Um. No, I don't have that. I Wait, no, I do. I have block and long blade. I'll just wait until she tells me that I'm free to level up with them. And by level up, you mean, I mean, advance in rank. I just want to see who I can talk to here. Sneak, block, and medium armor. Hmm. 188 to increase my medium armor, which I really haven't used at all. If I... You know what? Yeah. I'll pay for that. Oh! You should rest and meditate on what you've How learned. Nice. I like well then, company. I guess I, uh... What can I do for guess you? that was all I needed to level up then. Let's see what this guy has. Oh, wait. Oh. Barter. Let's see what he has. If he has any potions that I want. Please have potions that I want. He has standard potions. Please have a standard potion of restore health. Okay. Wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did my game crash? So, the game minimized itself. It didn't crash. I don't know what it did or why it minimized itself, but everything's fine. I resynced the uh, recording just to make sure that everything's fine. I don't know why that happened. I'm really not sure. But we're back. And that's the important part. Cheap restore health. You know what? I'm going to buy... The cheap restore health just because why not just to have them. And even though he can't afford it, I will sell him the mortar and pestle. He doesn't buy it. Damn it. Alright. Um I'm trying to think of what else I could sell him then, because I don't need everything that I have. Eh, you know what, that's fine. I'll spend the 217. I'll I'll negotiate it down a little bit. Let's try to get it to 210. Oh, hey, he accepted it. All right, great. Now, because of the fact that my game minimized itself and I got paranoid that it crashed, let's uh, let's just quick save right here. Why don't we? So now I have to get all the way up to Sheer Gorad, she said. So I have to go to Aldredania, which is up here, and I have the quest for the Necromancer at Vas as well, which is all the way up north. And I know that Vas is closest to... Um, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Such good company. Welcome. I'm trying to remember the name of where I'm trying to go up there. Dagon Fell. That's where I wanted to go to get to Vas. I'm just checking to see if he has anything I want. Silver Longsword, 2 to 14, 1 to 20, and 4 to 18. Or, oh, 4 to 18. It's not better than my... Steel Katana, because mine is 3 to 20, 1 to 18, 1 to 6. Actually, wait, 2 to 14, 1 to 20. Okay, so it's better in some ways. Yeah, it is.
better, but it's the thing of I'm using... Um... I'm using what's it called? I'm using the option where it just goes for the best attack automatically, so I don't know if that's technically better, because I never know what attack I'm technically doing. I think I usually use Slash, though, so... 2 to 14 versus 3 to 20. I'm going to hold on to mine. So now I need to figure out how to get to Dagon Fell, or the best way to get to Dagon Fell so that I can go to both Vas and to Aldredania easily. Alright, so what I can do is I think I can go to the Silt Strider in Aldrun, and from there I can get to Cool, and from Cool I can get to Dagon Fell. I think. I'm just trying to remember, but there's a lot of different ways to fast travel and... Well, there's not that many ways to fast travel, never mind, I don't know why I said that. There's also the Mages Guilds, but I don't know where all the Mages Guilds are either, because they're only in certain cities, so... Yeah. There's a lot of fast traveling, and... We'll, we'll get around, we'll get all over the place. There's so many different places to explore in Morrowind, compared to the other Elder Scrolls games, because there's more cities, there's more towns, there's more villages... But it makes sense that there would be so many cities and towns and villages. There should be more cities, towns, and villages in the other Elder Scrolls games, and the newer ones, in Oblivion, in Skyrim. There should be more that feel more alive, but no, they really kind of dropped the ball on that compared to Morrowind. Morrowind is vast. Morrowind is massive. Yes, and you lose that you sense want? of scale and that sense of being in a living, breathing world in... Well, more so in Skyrim, but even in Oblivion, just by comparison, I feel, because there's less civilizations, almost, even though it's Cyrodiil. It's the the crown jewel of the Empire. Hey Why there. Why walk when you can ride? I agree. I don't want to walk. I want to ride. So I can travel to Cool, and from there, I can get to uh, Dagonfell, which I haven't been to yet. I don't even know if I've been to Cool yet, so I guess we'll find out. Where would you like to go? Well, let's see if this looks familiar at all. And so far, it does not. Okay, so it's a smaller type of uh, village, similar to uh, Nisus, even. Or Hlaod, or Nyarmok, or any of those that are just kind of on the water. But I think from here, I have to take the boat to get to Dagon Fell. I also just like the the design of the little shacks on the water. I like the design, I don't know why. It's just very fitting, I feel. These are the docks of Cool, and I'm the shipmaster. I manage all of the seagoing traffic here. Tell me your destination if you're outward bound. Or if you're new to Cool, I can steer you to the local services or to a specific place in Cool. If you're looking for someone in particular, I might be able to help. Well, tell me about services. Services, you're out of luck. Uh, Thongard can sell you some food and sundries, but if you need anything else, you might try to Aldvalathi, right around outposts down off the coast to the west. They have a smith and a trader and a little shrine. I didn't know they had a smith and a trader. Oh, wait, no, Aldvalathi is the one that I have to get to. Because Aldvalathi is near the other one. Aldvalathi, wait, no. Well, no, hold on a second. I'm getting all sorts of confused now. Oh! Okay, Alvalothi is the one that I've been to. That's where I went to save the lady from the... From the, uh... The Ashlanders. I'm gonna say the Outlanders, but that's me. I'm the Outlander here. Alright, so on to Dagonfell. Cost me 35. I'm spending so much on travel. It's a good thing I'm rich. I don't know why, but I assumed it would be harder to make money in... Um... In Morrowind. I don't know why, I just assumed it for some reason, that you just would be kind of poor. Especially early on in the game, even after doing quests for guilds and everything. Like, I've had quests for guilds where they give me hundreds if not thousands of drakes for stuff that wasn't necessarily that complicated, which surprised me. Not complaining, I'll take hundreds and thousands of drakes, it's fine. That's not the issue here. <laughs> 
So Dagon Fell definitely has some uh some imperial What's your story? Um influence going on here. It's definitely an imperial settlement. What do we have here? Is this the traitor? Oh yeah, here's the traitor. Let's go on in. Mainly just to see what he has available. Ooh! Oh, you have a glass shield? It's beautiful! Stiga. Oh god, okay, calm down. Okay. Okay, fine. Calm down. Calm down there. Hi there. You're in Dagon Feld, George. It's a fishing village, or... Maybe you already knew that. You knew that already, and you aren't lost. In which case, maybe you got some questions you were planning to ask me, so go ahead, just ask, I'll answer. You're looking for services here? Very few, very few. Or looking for someone in particular? Go ahead, don't be shy. Well, let's, let's barter. Let's see what he has. Ooh, that is a large selection of everything. Iron flame blade, not that good. Imperial short sword, not that good. Iron broadsword, not that good. Alright, so... He really doesn't have anything I want. Amulet of Recall. Hmm. Alright. Amulet of Rest. Restore Fatigue 1 to 10 points for 20 seconds on self. Uh. Okay, he really doesn't have anything I care about. That's unfortunate. I was hoping he did. Is there anything I want to sell to him? Not really, no. Alright. Great. Tell me about the services here. Uh, Finn, I can't read that name, is a trader. Hyota, the peacock, also at the end of the world, is a pawnbroker. He buys and sells many things. We don't have a smith or a healer. Well then, aren't you quite useless? You have these weapons out. What say you, Dunmer? You have these weapons out that I can't buy, like this Nordic broadsword. Wait, was the Nordic broadsword the, what he had available? No, he had imperial broadsword. He didn't have the Nordic Broad oh no, he did. 6 to 18, 2 to 18, 2 to 18. It's better in some ways than mine, because mine is 3 to 20, 1 to 18, 1 to 6. So it's guaranteed higher slash and thrust. The only thing that it's not better at is chop. But technically it is better at chop because it has a minimum to do 6 damage of chop versus mine, which is a minimum of three damage for chop. Ooh, the Nordic Battle Axe is good. One to thirty, one to thirty, and one to four versus mine, which is one to twenty, one to eleven, and one to three. You see, now I'm debating what I want to get, and then I can also get a two-handed, but I don't want to do two-handed because then I like using my shield because I want to level up my shield. So let's buy. Weighs 15. You know what? I'm gonna get the- I'm gonna buy the broadsword, and I'm gonna sell my katana. Oh no, but my katana has a lot better... health. Because I had a condition of 1800 versus this, which is 800. <sighs> this is where I get just very picky about what I'm gonna use, because I just... I'm not sure. Because I could hold on to both for now. If I sell him this... But he can't afford it. You know what, fine. I'll just... I'll take 700 gold. It's fine. Let me just scroll this down to 700. And we'll be good to go. Alright. I know I kind of lost some money on that, but it's fine. It means having both of these for right now, and while that might not be my best decision, it means I can kind of, I don't know, it means I can test them. It means I can determine for myself which works better. Let's take a look at the map. I can't even see where I am. Okay, I'm here, so I need to go west to Vas. Okay, so if I go west to Vas, I can... Also go to Aldredania in the same run just about, so that's good. Looks like I'm pretty much all set. So west. That's what I like about the mini-map, is that you can see which cardinal direction you're facing. So you always know where you're headed. So even though there's no compass like uh, Oblivion and Skyrim, you still have a good idea of what's going on and where you're headed. What's I also just story? like the design of 
the uh, the Nordic sword, so I do want to use this just to mix things up a little. I can't hit you if you're up there. You gotta come down here, buddy. Is there some sort of, like, hype... Not hype map, but is there some sort of restriction as to where they can fly? Like, the pathing for them or something? Alright, yeah, you just fly up there. Can't do anything to you if you're all the way up there. Okay, now... Okay, alright. The second I turn around... See, it looks like most of these attacks are just... Slash. Although I don't know what the animation difference would be between chop and slash. I feel like chop would be the... The power attack. Oh, no, I have hell joint? Oh, that's not good. Okay. Hell joint... Agility 10 and speed 10. Well, I have cure disease, don't I? Uh, cure common disease. I would imagine that this is a common disease. It is. Okay, there you go. Beautiful. Not too shabby. This is a little bit of a... Yeah, this looks like it's a path. Oh, wait, is that gold connect? I still need gold connect. There we go. Gold connect. Green Lichen, I don't need that. Black Anther, I don't think I need it, but I'll take it. Willow Flower. Stone Flower. I know I need Stone Flower. Alright. This is just a dead end right here. So let's just shimmy around here. Oh, I can level up. Let's do that. So I'm just going to rest until healed. It's probably going to be darker by the time I get out of this, but oh well. Ascended to level 9. 3 times strength, 2 times intelligence, 2 times willpower, 2 times agility. I feel like I should do agility. Oh, lighting just changed. Um. <sighs> agility and... Affects your ability to resist magic and your maximum fatigue. My willpower is low, so I kind of want to increase my willpower. And... I'm debating between strength and endurance. I'll do strength. Yeah, why not? It takes advantage of the three times multiplier as well, so why the hell not? 